Welcome to the Lecturio Nursing Podcast. In today's episode, we'll be diving into wound types and documentation. Let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our nursing podcast series. Today, we're diving into a topic that's fundamental to clinical practice, wound assessment and documentation. I'm really excited to be here with you all, and I've got my awesome co-host joining me today. Hey, everyone. Thanks for having me. Today, we're here to break down the essentials of wound types, classification, and documentation in a way that's both practical and easy to grasp. It's like a mini workshop on wounds. Exactly. Let's start by talking about the different types of wounds. So we have open wounds, which means the skin's broken and internal tissues are exposed. These can include incisions, lacerations, abrasions, and puncture wounds. And then we've got closed wounds. Here, the skin remains intact, which means internal tissues aren't exposed. Classic examples are contusions and hematomas. Sometimes these are confused with open wounds because they can be painful and swollen. Pressure wounds, on the other hand, are quite interesting because they can be either open or closed depending on their stage. It's important to recognize them early to prevent further complications. Absolutely. Recognizing the type of wound can really guide you in choosing the right care approach. And speaking of care, documenting these wounds accurately is as important as identifying them. Let's dive into wound documentation. This is all about recording key details such as the wound's location, size, and depth. It sounds simple, but each detail offers a clue about the healing process. Right, so for example, let's say you have a wound located on the right lower leg, lateral side. You'd note the size too, like will the wound's four centimeters in length, three centimeters in width, and two millimeters in depth. Then you'd assess the wound bed appearance. Is there red granulation tissue, yellow slough? You document that here. And don't forget exudate. You'll want to note the amount, color, consistency, and odor of any drainage. In our example, it might be moderate amount of serosanguinous drainage, no odor detected. Exactly, and let's not overlook pain and peri-wound skin condition. Document any pain levels the patient reveals using a scale from 0 to 10, as well as the state of the surrounding skin. Let's sum up our discussion. In wound assessment, every little detail counts. It's about putting the pieces together to get the full picture of what's happening with the wound and ensuring that our patients are getting the best possible care. Perfectly said. So fellow nursing students, remember, wounds can tell us a lot. And with accurate documentation, you can track healing progress, make informed care decisions, and avoid complications. Thanks for listening. Keep practicing, stay curious, and don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions or topics you want us to cover next time. Catch you in the next episode. With Lecturio Nursing, you have experts' guidance by your side, everywhere, anytime.